Hey, so we got the moon in Taurus at the moment, and the moon loves being here. So that means you need to participate in the actions and reactions of Capricorn and Taurus, which is going to basically bring a gift in the sky. And now this gift, you want to make sure that you're harnessing this gift. You want to make sure that this gift is somewhere predicated towards the earth, the material realm, and what's comfort. Now, Taurus is valued by Venus, which is governed by that Venus planet. So that means Venus is all about pleasures, desires, and of course, intimacy. And of course, fearing, sharing your pots, sharing the pots. So when you're sharing the pot, you're cooking that big ass pot. <clears throat> you ain't going to eat it for yourself. You're going to share that shit. So it's all about sharing right now. It's all about caring right now. It's all about loving right now. It's all about nurturing right now. It's all about getting comfortable. It's not putting yourself into a situation. Or go looking at the details, looking too hard at the details. See, Venus falls here. They don't want to do that shit. They don't want to be Capricorn. They don't want to basically be a workaholic. They want to chill right now. Even though Taurus is predicated towards being fixed, you still gotta you still gotta put a little bit of work in. I mean, but also gotta value the other side, which is comfortability. Now, when we got it in Taurus, see, Taurus is fixed Earth. That means it's fixated. That means that means your house ain't gonna be built tomorrow. That means it's gonna take time. So you need to take time wherever you got Taurus at in your house. Or if you're a Taurus sun, Taurus moon, Taurus sun ascendant, you need to take your time right now. <clears throat> or they're just going to basically be examples of how you need to conduct shit. They're going to basically be the ones on stage to show you how to do it with these few days with this transit going on. Now, when that moon was in Aries, you were supposed to basically create a new spark, a new fire, a new passion. Not fixed fire, not mutable fire, but of course the cardinal fire, which is sparking a new vision. A new concentration, a new way to basically be direct, a new way to be passionate. Now, if you put yourself into a situation of not participating in some new visions or new passions or spending time with yourself, then you gave your vision and your sparks towards something else. So what you're going to get back on return for the moon in Taurus is peanuts. Not much, not shit. Right? So you got to make sure you're utilizing everything in your arena to make sure that you're correlating with the stars, feel me? The truth is in the stars. And you are a star, so you are the walking truth. And you should basically act that out. Now, we're going to run down the houses. We're going to make this quick. And we're going to at least get into these perspectives. Now, when we got this Taurus in your first house, this is the Taurus ascendant. So this is putting into a situation where you need to basically get fixated, practical, and comfortable, and patient towards your personality. Of course, what you got personally going on right now. And these patience, and these love, and these nurturing, and these caring. You're also going through some changes in this area. <clears throat> so that means you may have to put yourself into a situation of rebelling, being unique, and changing something up when it comes to your personality and whatever you're giving your personal interest towards to. Also, second house. This is going to be more of a um, situation of dealing with impulsive reactions when it comes to whatever you're valuing. You can be very impulsive and, of course, head first towards whatever you're valuing at the, at the moment. Try to make sure that whatever you're valuing is bringing comfort, bringing security and safety in your life. And also, you need to value change right now, too. No matter what it is, you may have to change against a person, change against a place, change against a thing. It got to be a change, no matter what. Also, third house. This is bringing faith, hope, and luck in your area when it comes to your surroundings and your environment and, of course, the individuals that you communicate with. Now, you need to take your time when it comes to your environment. You need to get fixated and practical and stable in that area. Also, you need to basically change something in your environment, in your surroundings. Maybe maybe some baggage is. You might have to change that up. For me. If something is bringing you baggage, something not bringing you comfortability in your surroundings, you need to go ahead and oppose and rebel against it. Also, fourth house. When it comes to tourists in the fourth house, this is basically putting you into a situation of dealing with, with some heavy restrictions right now when it comes to your home, your family, or you basically may be a, a restriction at home right now. Try not to put yourself into a situation of being too hard on yourself at the moment. What you basically need to do in this area is, see, Taurus love this house. The, the fourth house love this, love um, Taurus being here. So that means you may be very spoiled, you may receive a whole lot of nurturing from your home, family, or siblings. In this area, what you basically need to do here you need to get. You need to find some form of patience, some form of nurturing, some form of some form of stability and grounding when it comes to your home and your family and dealing with the roots of your um, privacy. You also need to be very patient 
in these areas. And also you need to change something when it comes to your home, your environment. It could be your health, your diet, or something. Something got to be changed in that area. Also, if you got Taurus in the fifth house, this is putting you into a, a position, a position where you're going to you're gonna be basically going through a lot of um, transformation and changes when it comes to your creativity or what you're expressing yourself or how you're basically being on front street. <clears throat> See, when it comes to front street, when it comes to your creativity, you need to basically have some patience in that area or you need to change something up. Feel me? If it's not bring, if this creativity and this talent is not bringing no joy or comfortability in your life, then of course it's basically bringing the opposing energy, which is the opposite side, which is your eleventh house from the public or individuals that basically don't fuck with your shit. But don't worry about that. What you need to focus on is you need to focus on getting situated, making sure whatever you're creative in and participating in, make sure that shit is basically putting you into a situation where it's bringing harmony and balance in the area. Now, if you got Taurus in the sixth house, you're going to be basically putting yourself into a situation of dealing with um, a gift right here. So, see, when the Taurus in the sixth house, <laughs> sixth house is the mutable um, perspective. You're going to have the gift to be lazy, or you're going to have the gift to basically go get off your ass and be situated. And with this area right here, you need to be basically coming up with a way of being stable, practical, and of course, consistent when it comes to your day-to-day -day routines or what you're basically working on. Make sure whatever you're working on as a routine, make sure you have a patience in this area. Don't rush things. Take your time. Feel me? And you, you basically get the answers. Also, you need to change something that's in your routine that's not catering towards your energies or your, or your comfort zone. Feel me? That's what you need to also do. Now, if you got Taurus in the seventh house, this is basically bringing misunderstandings right here. You're going to have misunderstandings when it comes to your relationships, your partnerships, and of course, your desires. Also, what's going to happen here is Taurus is going to oppose this house and bring misunderstandings when it comes to your relationships or whoever you're relating with. Now, in this area right here, you need to basically be developing patience, balance, equilibrium, and fairness, and of course, justice with how you relate with individuals. Feel me? Be very patient in this area. This is going to help you out if you don't put yourself into a situation of dealing going to extremes in these areas. Make sure you're bringing some balance and patience when it comes to your um, partner right now. Feel me? Your partner may not be good and bad, feel me? Have patience with them during this time, feel me? And things can basically become even more better. <clears throat> now, if you got Taurus in the ninth house, I mean, if you got Taurus in the eighth house, this is going to basically bring opposing energies too. See, Taurus is going to bring opposing energies and misunderstandings your way as well. See, when it comes to um, Taurus in the eighth house, <clears throat> you need to basically see this Taurus don't like this house. So what you need to do here in this area is you need to find balance and equilibrium and try not to go to the polar shift when it comes to your desires or what you got going on behind closed doors or when it comes to your um, sexual urges or your, your um, intent. Try to like be balanced in this area. Try to be stable in this area. Try to have patience in this area. Feel me? Try not to put yourself into a situation of jumping it down when it comes to your desires and shit. Just take your time. Feel me? Yeah, everything will be all right. Also, when it comes to Taurus in the ninth house, this is putting into a situation of dealing with um a gift. I mean, but you're gonna go, you're gonna, you're gonna also develop some misunderstandings. But in this area right here, <clears throat> this is putting into a situation of finding patience when it comes to traveling right now. Your traveling party was canceled due to this fake ass shit that's going on. I mean, just have patience for me. Good things happen for a reason. The reason why that shit was canceled because you can get to live another day. Or the reason why it was canceled because another big opportunity would be coming your way. So basically, you have patience in this area. Be fixated when it comes to your, your morals or principles. Or you might have to basically change something up when it comes to your experiences during this time. You're going to experience some changes, though. When it comes to your 10th house, if you got Taurus in the 10th house, it's going to put you into a situation of dealing with a gift. Now, in this gift, what you need to do when it comes to your status, your career, your goals, and how you express yourself, you need to find some patience. You need to find a way of basically taking your time. And you need to find a, a routine that's going to basically bring comfort and uh, going to basically keep you stable and stagnated for a few days. Feel me? So get stagnated on your position, on your status, and what you got going on, broadcast that shit. Take your time with individuals. Feel me? Trying to jump the gun with individuals. And you're going to be at it. Taurus in the 11th house, it don't like being here, it falls here. So you may basically put yourself into a situation of, of bending over backwards for too many motherfuckers. 
but you may not get what you got coming to you in return. In this area, you need to basically find patience when it comes to the budget. One person at a time, one situation at a time, one step at a time. Don't put all your eggs in one motherfucking basket. You feel me? Especially when you got no result. What this was gonna happen in this area right here, you need to find some form of patience, practicality, and stability when it comes to your groups, your organizations, and what you got going on. Also, you may, you may have to change some shit up too. <clears throat> that's gonna also help. And last but not least, you got Taurus in the 12th house. You need to face, you need to find patience towards your spirituality. You need to find patience towards your dreams. You need to find comfortability towards your um behind the scenes and, and la la land. Feel me? Make sure you're patient in this area. Take your time, don't rush things, feel me? When it comes to your spirituality, make sure you don't rush anything, feel me? Find some form of comfort in this area. And also change your spiritual outcome on things too, because Uranus is here. So it's gonna bring change. So be aware of that. That's the energy for tonight.